Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, image bearers. Come on in, come on in, come on in. For those of you who don't know, I am pastor and purpose pusher of Tears of Breakthrough Ministries, Pastor Carolyn Ritter Watson. So come on in. And I am going live today. It's been a while since I went live, live on Facebook. And I challenged myself this week. I promised my apostle, Apostle Felicia Anderson, that I would do a live this week. So here I am doing our Friday Life After series. And so if you're new, you may be asking, you know, life after what? Well, life after abuse, life after trauma, life after divorce, whatever your life after is, we all have a life after. And so I, I don't see any names coming up yet, but welcome, welcome, welcome to my live and also welcome to those on YouTube as well. Okay, but I'm, I'm just gonna get this party started because I wanna just pour into you this morning. I wanna declare you an overcomer, right? You are an overcomer, right? So I've just been thinking a lot about overcoming. Um, I've been talking to a lot of you and we've just been doing the work, the inner work, work from the inside out and just dealing with our stuff, right? So I posted something this morning in our private uh, V room and, and our um, tele Tears to Breakthrough private V room. And it basically was saying, we have to deal in order to heal. So you have to deal with your stuff in order to heal from your stuff, right? And, and, and become an overcomer. Say, so say that with me, say, I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I can't see who's on, but welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know why. Facebook's not letting me see the name, but it's all good. So I'm just declaring you an overcomer today. So I'm going to be in, um, in John 16, 33, right? And this is going to be short and sweet because I just want to encourage you that you are an overcomer this morning. I know a lot of times, you know, we don't think we can overcome some things because there's so much happening, but you will not stay stuck in that place. I just want to, you know, let you know that you will not stay stuck where you are, right? You can overcome any place, person, or thing. So I want you to start thinking about those things that you need to overcome, whether it's a person, a place, or a thing. What is it that you need to overcome this morning? Because I'm declaring you an overcomer right? But you know, it's not enough for me to declare you an overcomer, right? We have to come in agreement and you have to also declare yourself an overcomer. Amen. So you are an overcomer, right? So there is nothing that we cannot overcome. Nothing, absolutely nothing. And God is waiting for you to rise up this morning and overcome that situation. Rise up this morning and overcome that circumstance rise up and overcome right but you have to get up right so we are becoming overcomers today so i just want to read for you um jesus was having a conversation with his disciples right and uh i just want to read this for you in uh john 16 33 and so I'm going to actually start in verse 32, right? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I can't see your name, so I apologize. I can't see any names, but so I'm in John 16, 33, where Jesus is telling his disciples that yes, right? And I'm declaring this over you as well. Yes, you are going to have troubles, right? But 
he has overcome the world. In this world, we're going to have troubles, but Jesus has overcome the world. And since he's overcome the world, we can overcome our obstacles. We can overcome those things that, that are trying to hold us back and keep us down, right? And keep us bound. So I'm going to start in verse 32. It says, look, an hour is coming and has already come when you will be scattered each to his own home and you will leave me alone. I'm sorry, you will leave me all alone. Yet I am not alone because the father is with me. The father is with me. Say the father is with me. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And so now this is our verse, verse 33. I have told you, this is Jesus talking. I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, but take courage. I have overcome the world, right? That's good news, right? So yes, we will have problems in this world. We will go through struggles in this world, but Jesus is saying here, but I have overcome the world, right? So, you know, greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. So because Jesus has already overcome so can we overcome? We can overcome any obstacle, any situation. Like I said, there is nothing that we cannot overcome, right? So you have to first make up your mind that I'm overcoming this thing. I'm not going to stay stuck in this thing any longer. Whatever that thing is, whatever that person, place, or thing is, you do not have to stay stuck in that place, right? You can come out of it. You can overcome. You can overcome, right? So I want to read a couple of um other translations for you, but also I'm going to give you another a scripture, right? So we started out at, uh, in John 16, 33, where Jesus is saying to his disciples, yeah, you're going to have some problems, but don't worry about that. I got you. I have overcome. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to have some problems in this world. Yes. You're going to have some struggles in this world. Yes. But I have overcome the world. So because I have overcome, you too can overcome, right? So in Matthew 9, 2, it says, just then, I'm sorry, that's not the one I want. That is not the one I want. I apologize for that. Let me give you the, okay. No, I want John. John 14, 27. John 14, 27, it says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. And I do not give to you as the world gives it, Right? Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. Do not let your heart, hi, hi, Bertha, how are you? Good morning. Thanks for joining my live. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. So, so not only did Jesus overcome the world, right? Yeah, we're going to have some problems. We're going to have some troubles. We're going to have some struggles. But Jesus says, don't worry about that. I got this. I've overcome the world, right? And it's because he overcame, we too can overcome. But then now, right, in John 14, 27, it says, peace, I leave with you. How about that God kind of peace? Because the kind of peace that, that God gives us, the world didn't give it to us and the world can't take it away, right? So it says in John 14, 27, peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives it. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. Amen. Amen. Let me give you some more scripture here. So in John 15, 18, it says, if the world hates you, understand that it hated me first, right? So sometimes we have haters. We have people coming up against us, right? But Jesus is like, guess what? That's, that's okay because I had haters, right? Some of us have been taken advantage of. Some of us have been used and abused, right? This is our life after on Friday. So a lot of the women that I minister to are women who are starting over after abuse, right? And, and, and listen, yeah, we might have people that are coming up against us. So Jesus, right, he says, in, you know, in this world, he says, if the world hates you, understand that it hated me first. So they hated Jesus first. Remember, they, they, they abused Jesus, right? They, they spit on him. They abused him, right? And so, you know, sometimes we seem to think that we're not supposed to go through anything. But look at Jesus. Jesus went through some things. Jesus was abused, okay, and spat on, right? They, they, they mistreated him. They talked about him. So sometimes, you know, we got, we, we have haters too, right? We have people coming up against us too, right? 
If the world hates you, understand that it hated me first, Jesus said, right? So what is Jesus saying? First, Jesus was saying to our disciples in John 16, 33, Jesus is telling them that, yes, in this world, we're going to have many troubles. We're going to have some problems. We're going to have some struggles. But he also says that he overcame the world. So because he overcame, we too can overcome any problem, any issue, any person, place, or thing. You just need to believe that and receive that this morning, right? And then we have John 14, 27, peace I leave with you, right? My peace I give to you, I do not give to you as the world gives it, right? Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid, right? So we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid of, of people, places, or things, right? And then, of course, in John 15, 18, if the world hates you, so all those haters, all those people coming up against you, let them hate, <laughs> okay, right? Because they hated Jesus, right? They hated Jesus. They see something in you that that is, 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 is listen, I mean, let's just face it. Sometimes people just see they see something in you that they want to be. That's the way I look at it, right? And so they can't handle the truth. <laughs> they can't handle the truth, right? But we know they hated Jesus. We know they abused Jesus, right? But we're overcomers. And so I titled this this morning, I declare you an overcomer. And I declare you an overcomer, Bertha. I declare you, my sister, an overcomer. You are overcoming everything that was set up to keep you stuck, everything that every trap of the enemy, every every hater, right? Everything that was set up to keep you stuck, you're overcoming. You are overcoming. You are an overcomer, right? You are an overcomer. I want to read another translation of John 16, 33. I'll read a couple of them. Just so because I want you to just get this in your spirit. The contemporary translation says, I have told you this so that you might have peace in your hearts because of me. While you are in the world, you will have to suffer. But cheer up. Jesus said, cheer up, right? Cheer up. I have defeated the world. So the enemy is already defeated. He's a defeated foe. He, the, the, he's already defeated, right? He's already defeated. And another translation says, these things I have spoken to you, that in me, you may have peace. It's all about that peace. How many just need peace this morning, right? Just need some peace. That you might have peace. In the world, you shall have distress, right? But have confidence. So Jesus wants to give us confidence this morning, right? He wants to give us courage this morning, right? Have confidence. I have overcome the world. So we can have confidence in Christ right? Because he's already overcome. And because he overcame, so can you, right? So can me, right? I'm gonna give you one more. The good news translation says, I have told you this so that you will have peace. God wants you to have peace. He wants you to have peace, right? That God kind of peace that surpasses all understanding. He wants you to have peace. Amen. I have told you this so that you will have peace by being united with me mm, that right there being united with christ right that's how we have peace right i have told you this so that you will have peace by being united with me the world will make you suffer mm. but be brave but be brave i have defeated the world jesus has defeated the world jesus has over overcome the world. So because he overcame, we too can overcome. We are overcomers. And I'm just declaring and decreeing you're an overcomer this morning. Amen. You will not stay stuck where you are. I declare and decree you will not stay stuck. Amen. You're overcoming. You want to have that God kind of peace, that, that peace that surpasses all understanding. That people, they're not even going to understand why you have the peace you have. They're not going to understand because if they're not in Christ, they're not going to understand that God kind of peace. They're just not going to understand it, right? So they're going to be wondering why you have peace and why you're not getting upset. It's because you are an overcomer. 
And you know you're an overcomer because Christ already overcame. He already overcame the world. So because he overcame, we too can overcome anything. We can overcome anything. So I want to give you some, some help on how to overcome. So what can you do? How do we overcome? How do we overcome? First thing I like to say is um, we got to deal in order to heal. I think I posted that this morning. We have to deal in order to heal. So we have to first deal with the stuff that's really going on with our, with, within us right? We have to, good morning, Sharon. Thanks for joining. And yes, you are my sister. You are an overcomer, right? We have to deal with our stuff. We have to deal with our issues, right? And um, ask yourself, what do I now make it personal, right? Because this is for, for you, right? I'm big on journaling. So I already did my journaling for today. So this is for you, right? Ask yourself, what do I need to overcome? Because really only you know what you need to overcome. What do I need to overcome, right? So you write that down, you journal that down and then ask yourself, what is stopping me from overcoming, right? So, so ask yourself, what do I need to overcome? What person, place or thing do you need to overcome, right? That's the first thing you need to ask yourself. And then the second thing you need to ask yourself is what is stopping me from overcoming that person, place or thing, right? And guess what? Number three, ask for help. Many times we're stuck because we don't reach out and we don't ask for help. You have to ask for help. You're, listen, this ministry, Tears of Breakthrough, you, we, you're, you don't have to go it alone. We, we're breaking through together. So contact me. We, we can do this thing together. Ask for help, right? It's no point in suffering alone. There's so many women that are suffering in silence and you don't have to suffer it alone. You don't have to go it alone. You don't have to suffer it alone, right? And then we need to renew our minds, renew our minds to the thing, to whatever that thing is, whatever your, your thing is that you need to overcome, whatever person, place, or thing that you need to overcome, renew your mind concerning it, right? Renew your mind. That means you have to change your mind concerning that thing. Tell yourself that you can overcome, that you are an overcomer. And, and, and even though you don't, may not even feel like that in this moment, Christ overcame the world and so because he overcame, that automatically makes you an overcomer, right? So you may not have the strength right now, but you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength, amen? We are overcomers, right? So you have to renew your mind to the fact that, yeah, there's some things happening all around me. There's some problems, there's some struggles, there's some trouble, but I am an overcomer and I'm gonna overcome this thing. I'm overcoming this thing. So ask yourself, what do I need to overcome and be honest about it? Then ask yourself, what is stopping me from overcoming? What blocks? What, what, what's keeping you stuck, right? And then ask for help because you're going to need somebody to help you with that, right? You can't, we can't do it alone. We can't do it alone, right? And then we got to renew our minds. We have to get rid of the, the, the negative uh, thinking, right? We can't, we can't keep thinking the same old stuff. Right. I like to say you have to clear out, clear, clear, clear your mind. I'm sorry, my dog is here. We have to clear out the old stuff in order to put in the new stuff. Because if you keep the old stuff in your mind, right, you're gonna keep you're gonna keep living the same old life, right? I apologize. This is Lady Cece. Okay. <laughs> She's all in the video. But if we continue to think the same old, same old, same old, then we're gonna continue to live the same old life, right? So I'm declaring you an overcomer today. I want, I want to encourage you to journal. Ask yourself, what do I need to overcome? And then ask yourself, what is stopping me from overcoming that thing, that person, place, or thing? And then ask for help, right? You're, you're not, you don't have to go it alone. You don't have to go it alone. You don't have to suffer in silence. You don't. And then renew your mind, change your mind concerning whatever it is, change your mind. And in order for us to renew our minds, then we have to meditate on something other than the thing that we're worried about, right? So whatever you're worried about, whatever thing is troubling you, if you're so focused on that, right, then you're just going to get more of that. You got to take your mind off of that. And I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy, but you have to replace the negative stuff with something positive. Start with the word of God, right? I gave you some scriptures today, right? Meditate on those scriptures. Meditate on the word day and night, right? We got to, listen, the word, 
The word is so powerful. The word is so transforming, right? God wants you healed. He wants all of us healed. He wants us whole. He wants us healed and he wants us whole. Jesus came to set the captives free, right? He, you know, he came for our salvation. Well, he died for our salvation, right? But now after we're saved, then what? Because this is, this is one of the issues I have <laughs> in the church. It's like, all right, now you're saved, but now what? Now, what are you going to do? Now, how are you going to live that life out? Are you going to stay stuck in those old patterns and cycles, right? Or are you going to come up, right? Because Jesus, you know, he, he gave us the abundant life, right? Right? So, so we don't have to keep the same old life that we no longer want. As long as you have breath in your body, you have the ability to change the life, change your life, right? And it starts with our mindset. Good morning, Vincent. Uh, it starts with our mindsets. We have to change our mindset concerning some things, right? And you just have to, I'm big on affirmations, just declare, write that thing down, say, I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I'm, um, I'm overcoming this, right? And you know, and, 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 and I like to say, check your God history, because if God brought you through some things before, he'll sure enough bring you through this, if he brought, did it before, he can do it again. But you have to wrap your mind around that truth, right? And stop allowing the lies in your mind. Don't, don't allow the lies that people tell you, other people tell you. And then don't allow the lies that you tell yourself, because sometimes we tell ourselves lies, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, stop lying to yourself, right? Be honest, right? With, with the areas of your life that you need healing in, right? God wants us whole. He wants his children whole right he don't want us fragmenting all over the place right so today we're just declaring that we are overcomers so say i am an overcomer and i'm overcoming this too yeah i overcame some things before but i'm overcoming this too and point to whatever your this too is whatever person whatever place whatever thing you need to overcome now is the time to overcome that thing yeah you know jesus said we're going to have problems in this world we got nobody nobody has lived this life without having problems right? Nobody. So yes, we're going to have problems in this world. But Jesus said what? He said, I have overcome. And because he overcame, we too can overcome, right? So I pray that this has blessed you. Thank you for joining me. I just want to pray really quick. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, that, that you're such a good, good father to us, Lord God. You're a father that sits high, but you look low, Lord God. And, and you never, you never give up on us, Lord God. But I know that some of us have given up on ourselves. So give us the strength that we need, Lord God, to continue this race, Lord God. Help us to see that we are overcomers because Jesus already overcame it. So since he overcame it, we too can overcome anything anything. We, there's nothing too hard for you, God. There's nothing too hard for you. So I'm just speaking blessings over everyone under the sound of my voice. I'm just declaring and decreeing that they are overcoming because they are overcomers. Hallelujah. Jesus has already you know, he's done it for us. And so we're just believing you, Lord God. We're taking you at your word, Father. Hallelujah. And if there's anyone out there who has not accepted Christ as their personal savior. Hallelujah. Just, just, just confess this with me. Say, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me. Amen. He, listen, and when he died, he didn't stay there, but he rose on the third day. And when he rose, he rose with all power in his hands. And guess what? Since he rose, you too can rise. You can rise above any situation. You can rise above any circumstance, right? Not only can you overcome, but you can rise above that thing. You don't have to stay stuck. So if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you want him to be Lord over your life, right? Say, I, I need you to be Lord over my life, right? Right? I, I accept you in my heart, right? And then once you've done that, right, you just, first of all, I welcome you to the kingdom, but now, now we have to live the life, right? So now we have to start that kingdom life, right? Have developing that kingdom mindset because we're now kingdom citizens, right? So yes, we're in the world, but we're not of the world, right? But we still fabulous, right? Because we're kings and queens. We are kingdom citizens, right? And Jesus has come to set the captives free. He, had, he said, yeah, we're going to have troubles, right? many troubles. And we know we see trouble all around us, but Jesus already overcame the world. So because he overcame, we too can overcome. So I pray that this has blessed you, right? I declare and decree that you are an overcomer. And I declare and decree 
a third John blessing over you. I pray above all things that you will prosper, that you will be in health, even as your soul prospers in Jesus' name. Thank you, family, for joining me. If you would like to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, you all know how to contact me. Just send me a message and I will message you back, right? Thanks for joining. Have a blessed and marvelous day and I'll see you next time. God bless.